Assalamu alaikum, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video and always in the series about Kotlin for beginners, we are going to learn about generics. So let's get started. Until now, if you saw the videos about collections, you have used generics in many. If you define a list, let's say it is a mutable list of, for example, something, you can use here int and it will accept only ints. You can use strings, you can use any other type. How this is implemented, how this behavior is implemented. If you know generics, if you go here to this class and you go to this mutable list, you will see that mutable list is an interface. That's the first thing. And it accepts something called E. It doesn't have to be this E. You can type T, you can type G. It doesn't matter, just a character. And now we are using this type in order to define other things. So if you try to do, if you are using strings and you try to do list.add, for example, five, it won't work because it's not the same type. How they are preserving this kind of restriction through generics, okay? So the compiler can guarantee this thing won't work. If you go here, let's go back. You will see that the add is taking an element of E, the remove of E, and add all element, it takes a collection of E. So this is how you can define generic. So if you want to define, let's, let's define something. Let's define just an example of, let's define a class. Okay, let me delete that. Let's define class and let's call it container. And this container can have many types. You can have a type T. You can define it like the following and you can have here a list okay let me define that list as variable like that a list and this list is list of t okay so you can use that t here well you have to initialize this list with list of and now if you want to add things to that list to that container you have to define also a function things add one thing only you can define it as thing and its type is t like that well you have to just put it here and you can add things like that list dot add ah this list is only read only so you have to, to make it mutable list like that and also mutable list here and that way you can add things you can add thing only if it is type t so this is how you can use generics, okay? This is the most simple example of using generics. Now you can use generics in classes as well and in function. If you have, if you want to have a generic function, let's say that you have a function that process some kind of any elements you want to process. I don't know a perfect example for that, but just I want to show you the use case. Let's say I have a function. In order to create a generic function, you have to define that type here. T, we can call it A, you can call it B, you can call it uh, any, any character. You can even call it something like that element so this element is generic okay and you create a function you create a function let's call it open something or open element and it accept for example elements and in which it is a list of what of that element so this is how you can use this generic you can even mark it as returning this element right you can return let me just reduce the size a little bit you can even return the list of that element so this element is just a generic type, okay? It's not the actual element. So you can put an element like that in order to make it more clear, or you can have type just E here and E here. And like that, you can return, I don't know, you can return some list after processing something. So this is how you can use generic also in functions. Now, something else about generics in Kotlin, you may heard about something called covariant and contravariant things about generics. We will learn about this in the next videos, hopefully. But now I want to show you just something. If you want to restrict this T to a specific class hierarchy, if you want, for example, this T to be used only with person hierarchy, let's say that you have a class called person and this person have student and professor and everything else. So you can restrict this T to be only for those type. You can use something like that, person, and it will work like that. Let's say, for example, I use the following. I use the number, okay? So this list add thing will accept only numbers. So if I try to define that container, container of int, it will define normally. If I try to define it for something else, let's say for a string, it won't work. Why? Because a string isn't a number, okay? So type argument is not within the bounds. This is the exact definition, okay? So you can use this to restrict specific class hierarchy. This is it about Thanks. In the next video, we'll learn about this contravariant and covariant example, especially with something called the in and the out, something called the in and something called the out. Okay. So we'll learn about them hopefully in the future, in the next video, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always, and see you in the next videos. 
Salam alaikum.